The last thing that I want to get through with you guys, here's a really big, it's really something basic and simple, but a lot of students have trouble with it, is identifying increasing, decreasing, and constant. So I'm going to give you guys two little steps. Read a book. <laughs> So the thing that comes confusing with this is, number one, the notation looks like domain and range. But I want you guys to understand this is, different, this is a different type of representation that we're doing. So first of all, read a book. Why am I talking about reading a book? Because I want you guys to read this book from left to right. Okay? Because what we're all, basically what we're doing is we're going to tell a story. Okay? We're going to tell a story of what this graph is doing. It's either increasing, decreasing, or constant. All right? Now, the other thing is, how we're going to tell our story is we're going to write down the x values. And then, of the x values, what are the y values doing? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start from negative infinity. It's like the start of time. Okay. So as we're going from negative infinity, which is actually negative infinity down here, but x value. Remember, we're talking about we're writing the x values. So when the x value is negative infinity, and I'm creeping up, then I shoot up all the way up here. And then I hit this apex, right, the top of there. So from negative infinity to the x value of negative 4, what was the graph doing? Increasing, decreasing? Increasing. Right. The y values were increasing, right? From negative infinity, from the x value, negative infinity to negative 4, the graph was increasing. So you'd write negative 4. Now, is negative 4 a part of this graph? Yes. yes. Yeah. So it's a parenthesis. It's included, right? I didn't do that for domain and range over here. Because it's 2 and negative 3 aren't included. Those are undefined. So we use parentheses. Then, so it's increasing. This is not domain and range, though, so I'm not going to union them. I'm just going to put a comma. Then, from the x value, negative 4, to the x value, negative 1, the y values are doing what? Decreasing. So you'd write from negative 1, oops, I'm sorry, from negative 4 to negative 1, the graph is decreasing. From negative 1 to positive 3, it's increasing. And from 3 to infinity, it's decreasing. Does that kind of make sense? Just understand what students get trouble with is they want to use the y values instead of the x values. Read the, read the graph from left to right.